Hey guys, today we are going to do carburetor and fuel lines on a Troy Belt TB 525ES. That's what it looks like, 525ES. Any other numbers in here? No. No, but it looks like it says 525ES on it. Pretty sure that's what it is. Um, all the parts come in a package. Um, I'll open it up and show you it. Put the link in the description below. It's got everything you'll need. Carburetor, fuel filters, fuel lines. Um, these little red things are the duckbill valves that go underneath the primer bulb. Um, so when you replace the primer bulb, it's got spare duckbill valves, spare primer bulbs. Um, oh, this one's protecting the spark plug. Um, you know, everything you'll need. Uh, this is the wrong gasket. They put it in the wrong gasket. <laughs> it's much larger. So make sure you don't ruin your gasket if you put in the wrong one. That one's for a backpack blower. Much bigger carburetor. They make mistakes too. Alright, um, alright, let's get to it. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is take off the air filter cover. Uh, we've got Torque 25s with flathead screws. got a huge gasket underneath it so we're just going to reuse the uh, old one it acts as a heat shield and everything so it's best to use the old one so this cover can come off here now it's just got a little vent on the back it's a uh, crankcase ventilation it's kind of a california emission thing um, sometimes the little spacer comes off just make sure that that you don't lose that it goes in the uh, cover just make sure you don't lose it um, don't worry about where a few lines go where cut them off move it there's a throttle line it's just a s hook pop that off this is garbage but we're going to take and drain out all the gas Make sure that the tank is completely clean. Remove the rest of these fuel lines. Alright, so we're going to uh, cut this fuel line into a point. And we'll use the black fuel line. Um, black fuel line will last a little longer. Cut into a point. Um, make the point a bit long. Alright, and then we're going to stick it in the furthest from the mouth hole. Um, just get it pushed down in there. Um, then we got to reach in. With a, I use a long pair of needle nose. And you got to reach in and try to grab it. So this is going to be a little bit difficult to grab because of the angle. We're going to have to really cut this back a decent amount. Where we've got enough room to grab it. tight fit but you want that so that makes a nice tight seal and you're going to pull it all the way out of the tank a little bit more all right so we're getting this out all, you know a little bit more we gotta get all that cut line out. Alright, we're going to cut the uh, tip off and then shove a fuel filter in. Make sure it goes all the way down and then shove
shove that back in, make sure it's in the bottom of the tank. If you got to use a little screwdriver, poke it there. Now it's laying on the bottom of the tank. Um, new carburetor, I'm going to set this up right here. Okay, that's going to be like that. So the fuel line is going to come all the way up here. So we're going to cut it up here somewhere. Second one. Oh, maybe. No, I'm gonna have to use the yellow line for the second one. Cut it along, tip again. pull it through just a little bit and that's it it can just go right back in there we'll leave that long we'll cut it the length later all right so we're going to take the s turn put it in it just sets right in like that um, looks like this is settled up some into this here get them slid through oh take this is an o-ring in it just make sure that you don't have this o-ring in here if the new one's got an o-ring on it black fuel line is the one going to the filter it's going to go to the barb then that's closer to the primer bulb this one right here we're just going to go ahead and stab that on i'm going to shorten it up just a little bit Let's see what that's going to be that looks like it'll be fine just don't want it catching on stuff use your needle nose if you got to to get it on all the way Yellow line's a return line. Go around and measure it to length. Cut it off. And then we're going to go ahead and stab it on. Like so. Alright, that's pretty much that. Um, we're going to go ahead and put some gas in this and prime it up. All right, we're just going to go ahead and prime it up to see that we've got the lines hooked up properly. It's priming. That's a good sign. Primed right up. If it wasn't priming, you look in here and you see foam coming out the fuel filter, you've got these two backwards. Just switch them. All right, it's firing up and starting an idle. Um, you may need to run it a little bit to get it to run properly. There is an adjustment on the aftermarket carburetor right here. It's a flathead. Sometimes you have to turn it uh, a little bit counterclockwise to make it uh, 
not bog out it'll bog when you squeeze the trigger um, that's pretty much it this one we need to check the oil on it too I'm smelling a lot of oil so we're gonna check the oil on it filter goes on right here like that and you just click it down into place and that's it guys this helped you out in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button uh, all the parts will be in the description below um, if you want to do any advertising on my channel message me I'm more than happy to have you peace